Uh, so Vertizon was started about a little over six years ago and with a mission really to develop a unique way of making renewable chemicals. We had watched the landscape, saw many other companies looking to make chemicals from sugar. We thought there was a better route. And so we looked at using fatty acids as a feedstock, have a higher energy content. There's just as much fatty acid in the world as there is sugar. Uh, and so we then looked for an organism that was very effective at metabolizing fatty acids um, that could make the, the set of products that we had outlined. So we really sort of married the products we wanted to make in the end, which is a family of diacids, with an organism with a feedstock strategy. Uh, we're making diacids, which go into making a variety of polymers, including nylons, uh, polyurethanes, and so the small six carbon diacid is called adipic acid, which goes into making nylon 66, which is probably the carpet we're standing on. Some of the apparel that people are wearing, your running shoes, foams, and so there's some really near to the skin applications for nylon 66, football jerseys, things like that. So all of our products are advantage over incumbent. The adipic acid incumbent from Invista is made from butadiene, which many people are aware is uh, forecasted to be in short supply as the distribution at the cracker changes as a result of natural gas. So um, we're advantaged right now and we anticipate being further advantaged in the future. Um, so as you know, we did a fundraise earlier this year where Syme Darby, a large Malaysian conglomerate, invested uh, heavily into us. It was almost a $50 million raise and Syme Darby invested 30 of that. So they are one of the world's largest producers of palm oil and we are then looking to source palm oil fractions, not those into food, not going into fuel, but some of the waste materials, the byproducts for our feedstocks. Syme Darby is an important company in Malaysia, uh, and our U.S. ambassador thought that that would be a fantastic event that when we signed the deal, that since Obama was going to be in Malaysia with the Prime Minister, that he would witness our signing ceremony. It was a fantastic event, and um, it followed closely on us receiving what's called bio-nexus status from the Malaysian government, which gives us tax holidays and um, some other financial incentives. So.